To start, you're going to want to remove your stock bumper and bumper cover. Check the video description for a link to these instructions. Next, you'll want to separate the bumper from the bumper cover. This part here is the actual bumper. You also want to pull these two supports that are still left on the car. In the end, you should be left with a bare bumper cover just like this. The only thing that should be left on it are these side supports. Here are all the structural parts that should have come with the bumper. For hardware, you should have four medium length 10mm bolts, two short 10mm bolts with washers, and six short 12mm bolts. From the stock hardware, you should save five of the Phillips head bolts that ran along the top and the two 10mm bolts that went in the bottom. Install the right side bumper mount here next to the radiator. Drop the slider into it before you install it. If you can see this hole in the slider from above, then it's installed the wrong way. Use two of the longer 10mm bolts. The holes are oversized to allow for rotational adjustment. Adjust it so it's perpendicular to the ground. Thread one of the short 12mm bolts into the nut. Adjust the slider so the bottom of the slider is roughly even with the bottom of the mounts. Then snug down the 12mm bolt to hold them in place. Install the front beam onto the sliders and thread short 12mm bolts into the nuts on the bottom of it. Now place the bumper cover loosely on the car. Align the plastic sliders on the bumper with the studs, then push in. Do this for both sides. Go to each side and push in the fender liner to make sure it's not jammed on the bumper cover. Check the underside as well. If the bumper cover is hung up on anything, it's not going to fit right. After that, install the rest of the bolts on the top of the bumper cover. Install the two bottom bolts you saved. Now you can start adjusting the bumper. It's easiest to do with a ratcheting stubby 12mm wrench like this. Loosen the bolts mounted near the radiator support to adjust the height, and the ones mounted on the bottom of the main support to adjust the depth. If you loosen all four bolts, you can actually shift the bumper left and right a little bit. The kit comes with two optional mounts for the corners of the bumper. Installing them could improve the gap near the front of the fender, but I would try to install the bumper cover without them to begin with. To install them, pull the headlight motor fuses from the fuse box, then manually open the lights about 75% of the way. Take this piece and install a 12mm bolt into the bottom of it, then slide it onto the bumper until it lines up with the hole in the bumper cover. Then using a stubby 10mm wrench, install a bolt through the top of it. When you tighten the bolt down, you should see that corner of the cover pull down a little bit. After that, tighten down the 12mm bolt on the bottom. You'll just have to play with all the adjustments until you get everything fitting just right. When you're done, really tighten down the 12mm bolts to lock everything in place. If you need to adjust a gap at the rear of the bumper, you can loosen the stud and move it up and down. You can also enlarge the hole in the fender to get even more adjustment. Before you install the bumper cover, install the four long 12mm bolts in either end. Now you can install the fog mounts. The holes are oversized to allow for some adjustment.
After the bumper cover is installed, loosen the adjusting bolts on the fog lights so they are firm but you can still move them by hand. Install them on the car, angle them how you want, then carefully pull them off and tighten down those adjusting bolts. At this point double check everything and you're done.